Hey everybody, welcome to another Veg Out video with CCUA. I'm Saxon, and today I want to show you how to make a pollinator puddle. Now, what is a pollinator puddle? Um, there's natural versions all over that are just actual mud puddles, um, but you can also use a shallow dish and place it out in your yard or your garden and make a pollinator puddle that way. Um, so why do we need pollinator puddles? Well, um, some common pollinators you might know of are butterflies, bees, wasps, and they are living things. And all living things need water to live. So, but pollinators are very small creatures. And so if we can provide them a place where they can safely and easily sit and drink water, um, they will be more likely to come to our gardens, into our yards, and to pollinate our flowers and our fruits and our veggies. Um, also, they need um, nutrients like sodium and other nutrients and minerals, and they can get that from the pollinator puddle that you make um, by adding a few special ingredients. So let me show you the materials that you're going to need to do this. Um, a relatively shallow container with no holes in the middle, or in the bottom, excuse me. Um, some water. For your nutrients you're going to add in, you can use either a little bit of salt or some soil. This is just some compost that I got from my backyard. You're going to need some sand. And then to um, create your sitting places for your pollinators, you're going to need some different rocks and things. All right, so your foundation is your container. It really could be any container. Um, this is a, like from the bottom of a, a pot um, that you would have a, a plant in at your house. You could also use, this is like a ramen bowl um, from like microwavable ramen. You could use something like this. Then you're gonna wanna fill it up with anywhere from like a quarter inch to a half an inch of sand. My sand has some roots in it, so I'll probably move those out. All right, so that's your foundation. And then I think there's probably many ways you could do this with the soil. Um, I'm going to just put it in my water as I pour it on, but you could probably also sprinkle it on the top. So then you're going to pour the water into your puddle and let's see, I want you guys to be able to see this a little bit better. So it's, it's a little challenging because my camera's at an angle, but you really don't want the water to be very high up over the sand. Then you get your stones or rocks. And place them around like so. And then you'll want to um, 
Hey there, someone just asked, they joined late and they said, what am I making? I'm making a pollinator puddle that provides um, an easy drinking source for our pollinators and also um, a nutrient source, especially male butterflies. They need a lot of nutrients in order to mate. Um, so this water that I poured in has a bit of soil mixed in, which is gonna provide a lot of those nutrients that they need. You can also use salt um, just a pinch of salt if you don't have a lot of soil on hand. Um, so then the placement of this is kind of important. You, you don't want it um, just sort of out in an empty area necessarily. It'd be nice if it was up against some plants with a little bit of shade and a little bit of sun. Um, and kind of a, a place where the pollinators can have some cover and, and feel safe. And you just kind of want to monitor it, and as the water gets low, you can add water back in. Um, or if, you know, it rains a lot, you might want to pour a little bit of the water out so that it's not um, a very, very big puddle. Because really, you just want that little bit of water on the top for them to be able to sip. Okay guys, well, if you make a pollinator puddle, um, or just have any pollinator, butterfly, bee, etc. sightings in the next few days, take a picture and share it in the comments, and we would love to see what you've done. Um, somebody else asked, if the container I have is very shallow, do I need the sand? No, not really, necessarily. Um, I have something like this already in my garden that's a pie plate, a glass pie plate with some big rocks in there, and um, that's, that's what I use generally. But the sand is just sort of a helpful component. And hi Henry, nice to see you. Okay guys, well I'm going to jump off here, uh, but we will see you tomorrow. Um, for a morning veg out video and then in the afternoon for story time. Take care. See you later. <laughs> well, uh, for some reason, my phone does not want to finish this video. Let's see.